Hi everyone, it's Ryan Liberty, and in this video I will be discussing five myths about schizotypal personality disorder. Ooh, ah. Okay, so here we are. We're going to get into what five myths about schizotypal personality disorder are. Now, like all personality disorders, um, schizotypal personality disorder may be a little confusing. It may look like other personality disorders. It may look like some things we're familiar with. Um, so it can get mixed up very easily with other things. And we're going to talk about that a little bit here in this video. So the first myth about schizotypal personality disorder is that it is the same thing as schizophrenia. So that's not true. And while schizotypal personality disorder may progress into schizophrenia, somebody with schizotypal personality disorder does not um, have the intensity of hallucinations and delusions that somebody with schizo uh, schizophrenia may have. Somebody with schizotypal personality disorder may have like little strange bends in the way that they say see reality and the way that things um, they experience things but it's not the full-on experience of somebody that has schizophrenia but as i mentioned uh, since it can progress you may want to see a clinician a licensed professional who can um, assess whether or not it's progressing into schizophrenia or if it's just, it's just the schizotypal personality disorder that you're observing in yourself or in somebody else so the second myth about schizotypal personality disorder is that the people who have it, well, they're just a little weird. So no, that's not true. Uh, people with schizotypal personality disorder may be, you know, what they call eccentric, strange, and these words, I don't mean to use these words to put anybody down who has the disorder. It's just that this is typically the way that it's classified or the way that we talk about schizotypal personality disorder. Um, but it's more than just being a little weird or not the way that people normally do things. There's, um, you know, people, they're reacting to feelings and experiences that feel very real to them. They're, you know, when they feel like somebody's talking to them, like the trees talking to them or whatever their particular quirks are, um, that feels very real to them. It's not that they're just a little strange. It's, it's more than that. I, I really just want to get up to the point that it's a personality disorder. It's not, um, you know, that they just act a little funny or something. So the third myth that kind of goes along with that is that people with STPD, schizotypal personality disorder, they'll just grow out of it. This is just a phase that they're going through, or it's like the normal um, part of growing up. And I understand the confusion where somebody might feel that way because we all do kind of go through periods of growing up where we kind of fantasize about things and we have some strange beliefs about the world. Um, but, and then, you know, we grow, we do sort of grow out of that, many of us. However, this is a personality disorder. This is not that. This is something different. And again, just like saying how, well, it's just that they're weird or something. It's not like that at all. This is something that is a part of the way that they are, um, the way that they feel and experience the world. It's not just like some superficial beliefs or something that you could kind of like persuade somebody out of. This is the way that they experience the world, the way that they perceive the world. So the fourth myth about schizotypal personality disorder is that they're just doing it for attention. They're doing these weird behaviors, these strange things, because they want attention. Now, um, I don't know this for sure, so if you're somebody with schizotypal personality disorder, please comment below and let me know. But I have a feeling that they may not really or you may not really care about getting attention. It really has nothing to do with getting attention. It's just the way that somebody with schizotypal personality disorder sees the world. They may feel like there is a special relation to something in their environment that they have to pay attention to, or they're getting a special message from somewhere. Um, and that's not to get attention. That's something that they actually believe. So that is a myth that they're doing this for attention. And the fifth myth that I have for you about schizotypal personality disorder 
is that they enjoy being alone. And part of maybe why they do everything that they do is because they want to be alone. Or you may have observed in some people around you that have schizophrenic personality disorder that like they tend to be loners. They, um, you know, part of schizotypal personality disorder is that they have a excessive social anxiety and that comes from feeling a paranoia, maybe in interpersonal relationships that people are out to get them in some way. And unfortunately, it's not something that goes away with getting to know people. And this kind of goes back to that they'll just grow out of it. It's not something that they will overcome by getting to know people and getting familiar with people. It's really just the way they experience the world, as I keep repeating. Um, so that social anxiety may drive them to be alone, but that doesn't mean that they want to be alone. They will go through periods of feeling lonely, and it's not the same as, you know, a schizoid personality disordered person may actually prefer to be alone. Uh, and not really mind being alone. A schizotypal personality disordered person would, may have some frustration over that of, of maybe wanting to be around people and sometimes even being around people may alleviate some of their symptoms but they also have these um, fears that people maybe are talking about them or that people are out to get them so it makes it very difficult to be around people. So. Those are my five myths about schizotypal personality disorder. There are many more out there, and I would like to hear from you if you have schizotypal personality disorder. What myths do you feel like are out there about you? What do people assume about you that is just not true and you feel like they don't get it? Because part of my mission here with this channel is to humanize mental health, and I need your help to help me show people that there is a human side to this. It's not like we're just talking about some theoretical thing. So if you could offer me that, I would be grateful for any insights. Leave those down below. And for anybody else who's watching, I do appreciate you taking the time to learn about these five myths about STPD, Schizotypal Personality Disorder. And thanks again for watching. Hey, it's Ryan Liberty. If you liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, share with a friend, and leave any questions or comments down below because that would really help me out. If you're somebody who's gone through a traumatic event and you're feeling cut off from the people around you, I have a free course that will help with that, so please click to get it. And if you'd like to see the rest of my videos, please click subscribe. As always, I want to remind you that your life matters. Nobody can question your worth. However it is that you're feeling, whatever it is that you're going through, it's okay and you are loved. Thanks again for watching.